When I was growing up in a slum in Israel, I devoutly believed that knowledge and education will set me free and catapult me from my miserable circumstances into a glamorous world of happy learning. But now, as an adult, I find myself in an alien universe where functional literacy is non-existent even in developed countries, where culture mere, means merely sports and music, where science is decried as evil and feared by increasingly hostile and aggressive masses, and where irrationality in all its forms, religiosity, the occult, conspiracy theories, flourishes. The few real scholars and intellectuals left are on the retreat and the defensive, back into the ivory towers of a century ago. Increasingly, their place is taken by self-taught so-called experts, narcissistic bloggers, wannabe authors and auteurs, and partisan promoters of often self-beneficial causes. The mob, thus empowered and complemented, feels vindicated and triumphant. But history cautions us that mobs have never produced enlightenment, only concentration camps and bloody revolutions. The Internet can and will be used against us if we do not regulate it.